point guard, number seven, Lasia Clarendon. Starting at power forward, number 12, Tavares Dantas. Starting at the other guard, number 21, Kayla McBride. The other forward, number 24, Nafisa Collier. Starting at center, number 34, Sylvia Fowles. The head coach of your home team. Let's hear it for your Minnesota starters. Hey folks, welcome into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. Tonight it'll be the New York Liberty going up against the Minnesota Lynx. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Schwartz. I hope you got your running shoes on. These teams love to push it. So what are some of the advantages to being a good fast break team? Running shoes? Uh-oh. I brought my dress shoes. <laughs> but seriously, the biggest advantage is you don't have to, to score too much in the half court. And that is a huge plus, guys, because scoring in half court sets, it's so difficult to do. Remember, these are the best defenders in the world. 11 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. McBride outside. Outside Clarendon. Collier outside. Good work defensively by Natasha Howard. Pass to Ionescu. The three is up. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Three. Such a quick release on Ionescu's shot, and her accuracy from deep is great as well. Over to the left wing. Collier, defended by Laney. McBride with the ball. Now Clarendon. Six on the shot clock. From deep. Good D by Sabrina Ionescu. She must have a lot of confidence, thinking she can make it from all the way back there. I think maybe the coach has got to get in her ear and tell her Asia, to do get it. better shots when you're out there. That rebound and the follow, it shows you what she's all about. Ready, determined, and a soft touch to Matt. Now here's McBride. Takes it out to Collier. Outside Clarendon. Takes the three. And the Lynx miss again. Three misses to open the game. Their offense is trying to get it going. Back to Ionescu. Outside Howard. Pass to Ionescu. Durr with it. Takes the three. Fouls with the rebound. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Still scoreless after four attempts, trying to take the lid off, and it's not always easy. Laney, she's guarded by Dantas. Laney with it, working on Dantas. Here's the three. Laney's shot is off. Minnesota trailing. And there's a little throwback to Collier's game. You know, she works inside the arc, takes good shots, rebounds, and she's just a stone-cold winner. Now here's Clarendon. Good on the shot. Oh, they needed that one. They're first make five attempts to start this game. Ionescu outside. Laney outside. 
to the paint. Howard can't get it to go. And we first saw Collier's influence in college. She led Connecticut in all four years she was there. Yeah, and then went on to win Rookie of the Year in 2019, made the All-Star Game, and has not let up. This is really just the beginning for her. Now here's McBride. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. by McCallum. You love to see that offensive mindset from McBride, and fans are rarely disappointed with her intensity. Here's Gray. Shoots over fouls. New York, no good that time either. McBride outside. Out to the left wing. Collier outside. Pass to fouls. McBride. Over Durr. And too long on the shot. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks than that range. Ionescu outside. To the inside. Laney. A good and finish at the rack off the slick speed. Yes. Proving what a Ionescu. selfless player she is. Ionescu is all about getting the rock to wide open teammates. Call your left side. Stolen by Laney. Rebound by Dantas. Her shooting numbers slipping this quarter. Outside Clarendon. To the middle. Dantas' shot is off. Yeah, remember that. And that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. Fires at the elbow. Laney's shot is off. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper. Outside Clarendon. That shot off. So New York will take it the other way. Durr. McBride covering. Yanescu has it. Working on Dantas. Yanescu outside. Durr. Picture perfect, Ellie. You gotta love it. A little surprised she didn't go for the big slam. But I guess it works just the same. You nailed it, Tim. Two points is two points. And look, it almost makes it a little more special. Time out, time out. Time out Race the over power. You don't always have to flush it down. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. More than halfway through the year, we pretty much know who won't be winning at all. What should teams out of the race be looking forward to? Cancun, vacation. Well, other than that, getting some younger player reps and seeing what you've got with some of your vets. It becomes about next year, developing talent, but also with your own team. I mean, which free agents do you keep? Which uh, options do you exercise? It's a great way to evaluate what you have. Pass to Carlton. Dangerfield. And here's Carlton. Inside. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Left side Powers. It's tipped! Right side Howard. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. Once Howard collects inside, just one thing on her mind. School. Outside Powers. To stop the drought. Goes up again. New York with the rebound. 
Outside Whitcomb. Out to the right wing. Pass to Howard. Whitcomb. Fouls with the rebound. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Count it. How many difficult shots has Fowles made in her career? Just an incredible spirit about her game. Not to be denied. Here's Johannes. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. And can't cash in from close range. And here are the links now. It's a five-point game. Pass to Carlton. Now Dangerfield. Here's Carlton. Goes up on the baseline. The shot off that time. And here is Howard. Second shot opportunity. Another miss for her. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Outside Powers. Over Howard. Hits the front of the rim and out. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Now here's Howard. That one drops for her. Howard. Ooh, check out those handles. Nasty spin move. Had her defender grabbing for air. Pass to Fouls. Carlton launches a three. That falls. Good feed by Fowles. She's normally more of a finisher, but she also has the awareness to find open teammates. Outside Whitcomb. Now here's Howard. Back to Whitcomb. Shoots over Achanwa. Natalie Achanwa with the block. Here's Dangerfield. Whitcomb defending. Outside Powers. Fouls. And he gets the basket. She was fouled. And she's going to the line for one more. First personal foul. Teams first. And the free throw, no good. Well, since coming into the league as the second overall pick in 2008, Fouls, arguably the best post defender in the WNBA. There's the horn. We've seen some good defense on both sides. The score's still close. It's the Liberty, up two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. second quarter and taking a look at the Liberty performance here guys what are your thoughts lots of their points have come from shots inside the key and that's where they should continue to attack moving forward I mean why change the plan until they make you absolutely the Lynx trailing here's Dangerfield she hasn't yet put up any points in this one Bantam. Pass to Fowles. Shot from 16. The shot, no good. So New York will take it the other way. And here's Johannes. And she drops Marie in the layup Johannes. off glass. Look at that move. Is she special or what? I love watching her operate inside. 
now Dangerfield. Pass to Bantam. Here's Fouls. Misses from short range. And so it's New York with it. They lead by four. I don't know if we're ever going to find a better rebounder than Sylvia Fouts. She's a player that controls the boards every game she plays. Five on the clock. And Natalie and Chandra picks up the foul. That's her first foul. Teams first. First team foul. Both teams will make substitutions. Johannes. Links foul. Renaya Davis. First personal foul. Teams first. Second team foul. On defense, the Lynx. Trailing by four. Here's Jones. Here's Odom. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes ball. down. And with fouls, Jasmine she became Jones. the WNBA's all-time leading rebounder in 2020. What a remarkable accomplishment that was, and it really speaks to Fowles' non-stop energy on the glass. For her entire career, she's been a rock in terms of rebounding. Not a big margin for them in terms of rebounding, but it's enough to get the job done. Just one more advantage in the stat column, but it's translated to this league. Gray right side. Got a piece of it. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. This speaks to Collier's no-quit attitude. She is just determined to keep plays going with her hustle. Here's Johannes. Down low. And that Minnesota one goes foul. in as she's Jessica fouled. Shepard. It'll be three points if she foul. can convert teams the free throw. First. So both teams changing it up here. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Right outside. Pass to Bantam. Clock at six. Three pointer. And the Lynx another three. Always looking for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive scheme. Snatched away. Here's Dantas. That's in for her first basket of the game. Not much the D can do once she gets to the bucket. New York leading. Laney outside. That shot missing. Nafisa Collier with some nice D. And just over three and a half minutes played in the second quarter. Didn't come away with points, but they'd be happy if every possession ended with that shot. To the middle. Gray, after two misses Rashawn to start the game, she's on the board with that shot. With a smooth touch around the rim, I usually don't expect Gray to miss shots inside. Inside. And so she earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact. And she'll first shoot two. Foul, teams first. What a play first to tackle to get inside. 
And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. For an example of how unpredictable draft picks can be, look no further than Nafisa Collier. She was picked sixth overall, but became an instant all-star in her debut season. And so she hits both. And thinking back on it, Nafisa Collier did have an incredible rookie season. Uh, she came into the league hot. Nafisa playing at a high level and making a big impact, earning her rookie of the year and a trip to the All-Star game. Now here's Laney. Pass to Ionescu. From 13. Here's Gray. Falls through, Rashonda she's now made Gray. two out of four. Well, to be a good offensive rebounder, you have to really hustle, and Gray certainly has a full grasp of that. Here's Collier. McBride with the ball. Nails it That's from the high post. McBride. On offense, here the Liberty. Yanescu has it. Laney outside. Minnesota grabs the miss. He's been ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Right wing. And here's Taylor McBride from the arc. Connects Taylor from three point range. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Laney. Over McBride. Laney's shot is off. The Lynx leading. To the inside. Here's Collier. Can't get it to fall. And the Liberty with possession here. Now Ionescu. Pass to Laney. Back to Ionescu. Third. Laney outside. New York, no good that time either. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. Here's McBride, defended by Laney. Dantas outside. Can't cash in from the high post. To the paint, Dantas with the steal. Now here's Clarendon. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's McBride. The rebound by Gray. The Liberty Trail. To the middle. They need this. Laney and nice good. Lady. This defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they inside. haven't been able to return the favor. Their offense in the paint hasn't been up to par. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. First overall pick back in 2020. Zineski does a lot well, and it starts with putting the ball in the bucket.
change it up. Here's Fouls. Six points for her. And here's Dangerfield. Here's Powers. Second chance shot. And it's laid in by Fouls. You have to keep Fouls off the boards because she's capable of hurting you on the offensive glass. Pass to Allen. Back to Ionescu. Now Howard. Two minutes remaining. By fouls. Two minutes. Howard, that's good. Natasha Howard. Straight cash. I like seeing Howard rise up and knock down mid-range shots. Now Carlton. Fouls with it. Pass to Dangerfield. Shot comes out. Good D by Natasha Howard. New York leading. Ionescu outside. Stolen by Powers. And here's Dangerfield. Down low. Here's Fouls. Again, at the offensive end, she's done as much as they could have hoped for today. Ionescu outside. Pass to Howard. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. And that one misses. Well, you talk about someone who saw their career blossom. That's what Natasha Howard did a few years back. She went from being a bench threat to an all-star starter. Here's Natasha Howard for three. Knocks Natasha down that three ball. Set her up and she'll drain. Howard is a player who has added a good J, and it just keeps on getting better. Pass to Fouls. Sylvia Fouls drawing the double team. Basket number six for stat sheet. Now six for ten. It's hard to find fault with anything she's doing this quarter. Well, offensively at least. Now Allen. To the inside. Here's Howard. There's the block. Well, that's why opponents fear Shepard. The combination of length and athleticism makes her a solid shot blocker. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. It's the Liberty. They're up by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. Quarters. Fowles has been sensational. She's 
been a revelation tonight, scoring almost at will in the first half. Hard to imagine she'll be able to keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. It could be a special night for her. Minnesota trailing. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Dantas with it. Now guarded by Ionescu. Fires it. And she tries off the glass, but it's no good. Inside. And stolen by Nafisa Collier. Now here's Clarendon. Covered by Ionescu. Pass to Fowles. McBride. Just five on the clock. Oh. That drive by Nafisa Collier. Foul. Count it. And she'll have Howard. a chance for the three-point play. Teams first. It goes on Natasha Howard. You know, Collier has quickly proven her ability here in the WNBA. And I think she's only going to get better as time goes on. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Howard. Laney. Tries again. And the layup good by Howard. Howard. Just all will and desire from Howard there. Outworking the defense on the offensive glass. Here's Clarendon. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. McBride. To the middle. And that one's good. Oh, yeah. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals. And they've come from inside the paint. Now here's Laney. Ionescu outside. Howard. She's guarded by Dantas. Down low. Laney. The shot. No good. The links go the other way with it. Here's McBride. Rebound New York. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Here's Gray. Hits the layup Rashonda after the Gray. sweet pump fake freezes the D. Clarendon with it. McBride outside. That's good. And it's Asia Clarendon with the assist. Yeah, the determination to score from that distance comes from McBride's unwavering commitment to being the best. Now here's Durr. Back to Howard. To the inside. And she banks in the layup. Excellent awareness in the pick and roll. Howard seems to always be a step ahead of the defense. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. McBride outside. Collier. Another three for Minnesota. These defenders better start closing down their shooters. Yeah, that's two straight from long range. Pass to Howard. Durr. Gray covered by fouls. Here's Howard. Gray with it. Some solid defense from Demiris Dantas. Outside Clarendon. Dantas with it. A rebound by Gray. Outside Howard. That one 
one wide left. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. Outside Clarendon. Puts it up from 15. No good there. Great D that time from Sabrina Ionescu. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. The Lynx leading. Collier outside. Back to McBride. Yes, and it's now the Collier picking up the assist. Yeah, a steady scorer. McBride's demeanor has intensified as she's earned more and more respect around the league. And the Liberty call time here. And discussing the Brazilian Demiris Dantes, you gotta love her unselfish attitude. She's just someone that's willing to do it all for her team. Liberty Trail. Well, sometimes Dante starts, other times she comes off the bench. She's ready to contribute whenever her name is called. Well, now Dante is, is a veteran in this league, has a strong understanding of her strengths, and she plays to those so well. This team really loves having her. Here's Bantam. Collier up top. Pass to McBride. Now here's Fowles. Gray defending. Back to McBride. Launches it. And that comes up the assist by Sylvia Fowler. She is starting to heat up from outside. That's her second three ball of the half. And here is Odom. Defended by Achanwa. Jones outside. Shot clock at six. Laney. Jacks up a three. Bantam with the rebound. One item that stood out is their ball move. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Can't get a much better look than that. Yeah, no way you expect her to miss that shot. He can't hit that time. Now, Fisa Collier with some nice feed. Doesn't go that time. And New York will come the other way. The steal. To the wing on the left. Lady outside. Looking to end her cold spell. Rebounded by McBride. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points. But the defense stood tall there. No good on the triple. Laney left side. Pass to Odom. Now Laney. Now Odom. Rejected by Natalia Chanwa. Strong awareness from a Chanwa. Sees what the opponent is doing and reacts accordingly. Here's McBride. Outside of Chanwa. Fouls. And a kick out to McBride. Just five to shoot. Back to Fouls. That falls. A team-oriented leader with a passion for making others better. McBride is simply a fantastic teammate. And the Liberty call time here. 
One place Kayla McBride always takes care of business, the free throw line. She consistently sinks her foul shots, making the competition pay for every trip to the charity strike. Averaging around 90% from the foul line has always kept Kayla McBride among the top WNBA players in that stat. If not at the top, she's ended seasons with a free throw percentage well over the 90% mark. I mean, she certainly is one of the best we've ever seen at the strikes. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. Jump ball called. And here are the links now. And here's Dangerfield. Looking for her first basket still in this one. And she can't extend the lead to double digits. Two minutes. Outside Whitcomb. Jones. Hours covering outside Whitcomb. Shot clock at five. Tries to snap the cold streak. New York foul. Rebecca Allen. First personal foul. Team first. First team foul. In for New York. Natasha Howard. The Lynx leading. Outside Powers. And again, no good by Minnesota. Pass to Allen. Beats over a Chanwa. Sinks the 15-footer. Now Dangerfield. Here's Powers. To the paint. Here's a Chanwa. And it's going to be a three second call. Three second violation. Liberty ball. Now here's Whitcomb. Guarded closely. Here's Allen. Here's Johannes. Let's go with a three. Natalia Chanwa grabs the board. Oh, man. That's one she'd like to have over. <laughs> Shepard, good. Shepard, you, know, you look at the stats, the assist totals, and the jump out of either way ahead of that category. Ball movement has been key. It's just a different mindset these teams have had. Here's Johannes. Pass to Whitcomb. Howard with the ball. This one for three. And Powers pulls it down. She's still looking for her first three-pointer of the second half after hitting just one three-pointer in the first half. Here's Dangerfield. Misses and close. And we've watched three so far in this one. Links ahead. They lead by eight. And we'll be back right after this. worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads-up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. Outside Howard. Whitcomb. And out of bounds. The Hoops will take it. Minnesota ball. Now here's Powers. And the shot goes down. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Now here's Whitcomb. She's guarded by Dantas. Rebound by the Lynx. Now Shepard. To the left side wing. And she was camped there in the That's lane. And she gets a three second call. Liberty, Liberty making a switch Liberty here. Substitution. And so it's New York with it. Yeah, it's a 10 point game. Outside Whitcomb. Durr. Let's go. The second chance effort. Here's Whitcomb. A beautiful reverse layup. Her quickness and soft touch around the rim. It allows her to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in the arsenal. Pass to Dangerfield. And here's Dantas. Now Dangerfield. Makes that one. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Yanescu misses. Here's Dangerfield. Whitcomb defending. The second effort. So the whistle Liberty blows foul. on the shot. Sabrina Two free throws Inescu. for the contact there. First personal foul. Team's and first. it's going to be on Sabrina Inescu. Not the player you want to send to the stripe. Dangerfield shoots, shoots, shoots it at a very high percentage. Crystal at the Dangerfield. Field. The 2020 Rookie of the Year. Crystal Dangerfield was the lowest draft selection to ever win the award. down the first one. Selected in the second round, Dangerfield also led her team in scoring as a rookie, but her role changed in her second season. That's right. Dangerfield moved to the bench early on in the season, and while that would be maybe be tough for some, Dangerfield has accepted the role. She thrived in that six women role, and that speaks to her maturity, showing that she could be effective starting her off the bench. Man, that's good as she hits both shots. Well, every team wants a point guard like Crystal Dangerfield on their roster. Plays the game hard, and she is a winner. Pass to Howard. Doesn't go for her. Some solid defense from Demiris Dantas. Here's Dangerfield. Whitcomb defending. Now here's Fouls. Dangerfield. That ball, Crystal that time to slip your fouls. And they are just killing them with the three-point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense knows it. They are fully stretched out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know defensively what they can do different at this point. They have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely on the other side, really not much resistance put up. Outside powers. A three-pointer, no good. Well, with a clear look at the basket, she doesn't really miss a lot of those. 
Whitcomb. She's guarded by Dantas. Outside Durr. Howard. Five to shoot. Yanescu has it. Powers picks her up. Ariel. And there's a foul. First it's on Powers. Teams first. That is her first, first team foul of the game. The Liberty, Liberty making a switch here. Yanescu. Clarendon covering. Yanescu outside. Over Clarendon. Here's Howard. They can't stop the run with that one. We played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Big ride right side. And Durr is going to pick up the foul. First that is the first foul, foul of the game. First. Second team foul. York on D. Down by 15. Here's Clarendon. Well, they're winning despite her errant shooting. Great D that time from Sabrina Ionescu. Pass to Durr. Inside. Howard. Some solid defense from Demiris Dantas. Right outside. Over Howard. And the Lynx miss again. That's one she knows she should have drained. And it's Kayla McBride with the foul. Kayla McBride. That's her first, first foul. Personal foul. Teams first. Second team foul. to Durr. Laney. Yanescu has it. Clarendon covering. To halt the run. Shot is good Sabrina by Yanescu. Yanescu. You see the mobility there. Yanescu knows she can drive to the rim and finish at will. Collier defended by Laney. Here's Clarendon. Back to Collier. shot clock over Gray. That shot off. And New York will come the other way. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. To the inside. Stolen by Fowles. Collier outside. To the middle. Fowles. Yes. And it's a Collier with the assist that time. Don't underestimate Collier's ability as a distributor. She'll make passes that make you say, wow. Here's Laney. Goes back up. Howard, that's good. Natasha, Howard. Perseverance, it always pays off on the offensive glass. And here are the links now. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Fouls. Stolen by Laney. The tray. Rebounded by McBride. She's gotten pulled, and I'm not sure she's their best option offensively as they look to cut this deficit. Pass to Fowles. And a kick out to McBride. Drains the three-pointer. They're giving her a little too much space out there. That's her third three-pointer since halftime. On offense, here's the Liberty. It's a 16-point game. Timeout. Timeout. timeout called the Liberty. Without question, Kayla McBride is displaying her skills today. Good timeout. She's absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to, to close out on her much quicker. And they need to figure out a way to stop her from three-point range.
outside dirt. Pass to Ionescu. And it's Kayla McBride. Kayla McBride. That'll second be her second foul, foul, second foul of the game. Third team foul. Now here's Durr. 14 feet out. No good off front iron. Kick right outside. Makes that one fall. It's a bucket and 15 shot attempts. On the drive, McBride can be so dynamic, which helps her beat the defense. Yanescu outside. And she uses the Sabrina glass on Ionescu. the layup. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Now here's Clarendon. Covered by Yanescu. Pass to McBride. Back to Clarendon. Now fouls. Outside Clarendon. Six to shoot. From about 19 feet, another shot, the rebound by the Liberty. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Two the game, two minutes. Howard, covered by fouls. Shoots. Howard gets the bucket. More than capable of big nights, Howard has lots of ways to hurt you. She's got lots of buckets tonight. Outside Clarendon. Pass to fouls. And here's McBride. That falls. That time for Sylvia Fowles. Sylvia Fowles. An example right there, guys, of how they uh, never started coasting, even as their lead kept growing. Well, Tim, they're just a determined group. There's no neutral gear, no matter what the lead is. It's only full speed ahead, and that's the type of basketball I love to watch. Yeah, 100 miles an hour. Clarendon with it. Right outside. Over Dern. McBride misses. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Yanescu has it. Working on Dantas. Here's Howard. They shoot again. Rebounded by Nafisa Collier. Man, they're in complete control. Everything they're doing, it's been working out. Wow. Dantas in the post, defended by Laney. Pass to Collier. Now McBride fires from deep, drills it from outside. They are dialed in from three-point land here in the fourth. Yeah, and that's just putting it mildly, Tim. I mean, they're putting a world of hurt on their opponents with the triple. And there's no better time, Brian, to hit threes than in the fourth quarter. So we see the Lynx taking the W here. They poured it on tonight. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. This game really a defining game for what they can do when they're playing at their best. Being here at home helps, but, but the execution anywhere was terrific. And that'll wrap it up.